What's up, guys? Scotty2Hockey here, a.k.a. The Average Hockey Fan, once again, to talk about a fan favorite, a heart and soul player, a guy who lays it on the line and gives 100% every game. You know who I'm talking about just by describing him. Brendan Gallagher. I'd like to give my expectations on Galley and talk a little bit about what he did last season and his fellow linemates. With all the questions surrounding Montreal's offense this year and a lot of critics questioning whether or not it will be a fast-paced offense like it was last year and as solid as it was last year, because let's not deny that a lot of players in Montreal overperformed last year, especially Thomas Tatar and Philip Deneau, Brendan Gallagher's linemates for the majority of the year. But one player, myself, and the majority of fans fully expect to perform and play with 100% effort every game is Brendan Gallagher. When you think of heart and soul of veteran players on the current Montreal roster, outside of Terry Price, Galley is usually the guy that's going to come to most fans' minds. His hard work to generate offense over the years has paid off, with Galley staying fully healthy and thriving the past two seasons. He's not just the player who battles for garbage goals and deflections in front of the net anymore. He's slowly morphing into a pure sniper with 30 to 35 goal potential consistently in the NHL. His shot has vastly improved and his confidence to shoot from anywhere makes him a constant threat. Galley led the team in shots, I believe back-to-back -back seasons, but definitely this season for sure, and is now the go-to goal scorer in Montreal's top six. This season, I fully expect him to thrive. He has excellent chemistry with his, with his linemates, Thomas Tadar and Philip Deneau, and they were a great line on both ends of the ice last year. Both Tatar and Deneau had career highs across the board, especially in their plus-minus rating. I believe Thomas Tatar was as high as a plus-28. I don't have the stats on hand, but I think he was, I'm pretty sure he was a plus-28, and I know for a fact they were both in the, in the plus-20s with plus-minus rating, which is excellent. They were excellent offensively and defensively, and they controlled possession most of the time when they were on the ice. They all work hard, and with a full season playing with these linemates, linemates like that who can get them the puck regularly and create screens in front of opposing goalies, I think this could be a breakout year for Brendan Gallagher. I predict he will top that 33-goal career high that he got this year, and I think he's going to have around the 40-goal mark myself, especially. With players like Deneau really finding his game and Tatar really finding his game in Montreal, He's on a line that can be constant threat and control the possession the majority of the time. This really benefits a player like Galli. With his shot and accuracy, I fully expect him to help Montreal on the power play a lot more this year as well. If all goes well, it should be an awesome year for Montreal's top line and especially for their top goal scorer, Brendan Gallagher. My prediction for Galli is he's going to have 41 goals, 25 assists. Some may say that's a little bit high because Brendan Gallagher has never hit the 60-point mark, and I'm predicting 66 points for the guy. But he's never played 82 games with linemates that he has chemistry like this with, that can get him the puck like that, and that can do what he does, get in front of opposing goalies and create screens for him. If you can't see Brendan Gallagher's shot, you're not going to stop it, and most times he's going to score because he's very accurate. I believe his uh, shooting percentage this year was a, just above 10%. I think he's going to get it up to around what his career high was in his rookie year of 12.8%, uh, something like that. I think he'll have about a 13% shooting average this year. And I also think he will be a lot better on the power play. If you look at his stats here, this year he only had four power play goals and a total seven power play points. But the year prior when Montreal was a terrible, they were terrible offensively, he had eight power play goals, so I think he'll up it to around eight. So my prediction is 66 points, eight power play goals, an excellent year for Brendan Gallagher. So let me know what you guys think. Of course, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment. What are your expectations for Galley this season? Do you think what I think he's going to top the 40-goal mark for the first time in his career? Feel free to let me know. Over and out, guys. Have a great day.